Hey family, welcome back to another edition of the Opolo Diversity Solutions. It's always a pleasure having you here. Uh, we appreciate you for the support uh, you render to us by subscribing to the channel, liking our videos and sharing them. It's a big, big appreciation. Thank you so much. And now in today's video, I have this baby right here and uh, I would like to do a, a screen replacement for this baby over here. It's an HP ProBook 440 G7 laptop and uh, it's having a shattered broken screen as you can see and my role here is simple today is to just have a replacement of this laptop screen now first things first before you do anything on the laptop before you operate on, on any laptop or computer, you need to do these two things. Number one, you need to first shut down completely your laptop or computer. Then number two, you need to disconnect any power source or power cord onto the laptop so that there is no static electricity moving onto the machine. There is no electricity flowing into the machine. So let's start right away. Let's proceed by first of all shutting this completely. I'll just press the power button off and then uh, I've already disconnected uh, the power cord and uh, among the tools that we're going to be using we're going to be using this uh, Phillips screwdriver and uh, a press or two and also maybe this minus to enable us to remove the screen so let's proceed on to removing the screen With our pressure tool, we gently unlock, unlock the locks that are attaching the screen. It always comes along with uh, sticky glue attached to it and uh, gently we are removing or rather unlocking the screen bezel of the frame and then also of the screen itself. So we gotta do this gently on all sides. Uh, we have to do this gently on all sides so that we don't break any attachment. Oops, there is a uh, sticky glue that you have to remove gently The bezel is kind of you have to do it gently so that you don't affect the screen and the bezel itself. Okay, once we are done removing that glue, we can then now proceed to remove the bezel. So there is this lock king angle here that you need to also first detach from the frame it has locks as well both sides up and down
Oops, you have to do it gently so that you don't affect. the frame and the bezel. Change corner is when you is where you remove or rather forcefully pull it out. This is our bezel and uh, we can put it aside then focus on uh, disconnecting these four screws or rather unscrewing these four screws off this the frame right away we start with this first one Second one here. So once that is done, we can then uh, make the screen light onto the uh, laptop bezel, uh, the keyboard bezel, and then we detach this sealing tape, covering silo tape, of the connector. Connect the connector, and this is our screen that we need to replace. So right away, so right away with our replacement, we we bring our replacement new uh, screen that we would like to fix back here, and then uh, we connect the connector, the LCD connector back gently and smoothly. So I put it back into its connection spot and ensure that it's fixed firmly. Sorry. Ensure that it's fixed firmly without any hindrance. And then fix back the silo tape.
I have to add another layer of silo tape so that it's held firmly without shading off. So once that is done, we can now trace the path of the cables, the LCD cables connecting to the screen, and then refix it back into its fitting position. Once that is done, we get our screws get our screws and attach them back. Remember there are four screws. We put them back to the uh, connection slots. So here and then put back our bezel, our screen bezel. But we, before we put back uh, the bezel, we need to first test whether the screen we've replaced is legit and working. Let me power on the power button. Let me switch on the power button to see whether what we have replaced is working. So once I see this HP logo, it shows me that it is it is a sign that it's working well. So I need to, again, forcefully shut it down so that we finish up with the operation of covering it up and uh, putting back the screen bezel, then we call it off. So I get my screen bezel here. Once it's shut down, I put back gently Feedback this uh, lower base. Press it. Then I gently press back. back the locks gently and firmly then the lower one also I fix it back gently once that is done I have to confirm that it is all well it is all well. All the locks have been fitted well. Once that is done, we can then power on the laptop to see to it that we are in good shape. Here, once I see that the screen is displaying very well, it is no longer crooked or cracked. This is a new one that we have replaced, and uh, that's how you can replace the screen for HP. Further still, and uh, now further still, I'm going to be further still. I'm going to be making some updates on the laptop now that we have a screen display and uh, a better screen. So thank you for watching the Apollo Diversity Solutions and uh, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend to come around. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Cheers.